So while we were using this pile driver to drive in those posts, building this thing, and the whole thing broke. All the, the bolts shoot off on the, to hold the motor and the head and everything together. So now we're back to the old-fashioned way. Hopefully Home Depot will take that thing back. It should not have broke. It's like the second time we've used it. clips on the ends we got the plastic pulled tight down the sides we did take the ends back this end back off and pull it tight from both directions so we could get that smoothed out a little bit better now nope. she's got her hand full of knots but first we got to put the shake cloth on it next oh so we're gonna put the shake cloth over it and get that in place uh, and then we'll use the ropes at the end to hold it all down so one thing where, I mean, the, the greenhouse itself or the, the high tunnel is, is all pretty good, but so far the one thing I'm really not happy with is how they put package everything. All the ropes and stuff are in here. We've untang we've outstretched out these lines that go across the top, but they are all twisted and bundled together. I mean, look at, look at this big knot. We've got to undo all of this in order to get these ropes over the top of the greenhouse. So. I think there would be a lot better way to package this. Somebody took their time to put this together correctly in packaging. And this is quite a mess. And we got to untangle all of these ropes in order to get them in the right place. And the instructions. This one was less tangled. The instructions also, um, I'd be uh, happy if somebody improved the directions because the directions basically say put this on. So it's kind of like IKEA furniture. All right, so let's detangle this mess. See how this works, if it does work at all. Wait a minute. It's like 
There there's, is, there's no rhyme or reason well, to the end of this. I'm fixing to say there is a rhyme or re So, you know, it was all straight when they had it. So it's got to straighten out somehow. And the less we mess with it, see like that, the better. Well, these are all tied together on this end. Okay. That makes a little bit of sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the other one wasn't like that. No, they're all, all different. Can't tell what that one is. But we'll just let it go. Yeah, that's quite a quite a messy way to put ropes together. A... Hmm. Well, I was dreading one big long rope throwing it across. Yeah, that's true. We thought this was all going to be in one big long rope and have to go back and forth over the top, but looks like they're individual pieces. To getting each individual rope out of here is going to be a challenge. A little bit. Kind of like Russian tangly hair. You need some conditioner. We need a we need a vinegar rinse. We put it in the bathtub and wash its hair. All right, there she is, all finished. So we got the ropes put across the top. We got the shea cloth put on. We got the excess plastic cut off the sides and end. So looks pretty good. The hardest part of this entire thing was driving these t these t's these anchors these in the ground. So. Um, and then it was easy enough to put the hoops across, put the purling down the middle, and uh, last but not least, to put the cover on it. So I think it turned out pretty well. So we'll be able to grow some more crops in here that don't tolerate the heat as well. That's our biggest thing. It may help a little bit with extending our season in cold weather, but the biggest thing was to this next year was to give us a better place to have um, things like lettuce and uh, peppers and things that really don't do well. They get burnt up by our sun. So next few days I'll start working on getting the soil prepped and everything in here ready. But um, overall it did, did pretty good. Turned out all right. So we'll see how it withstands the wind and the weather a little bit over time. But that is our first caterpillar tunnel. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Sun's going down. It's been a good day. Got a lot done. So very happy for that. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you guys watching our videos and subscribing to our channel. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and ring that bell now to be notified when we uh, put out new videos. And uh, be sure to hit that like button and give us a big thumbs, thumbs up. So I'm going to go get some dinner and call it a day. Bye-bye. <clears throat>